Today, I'm gonna to show you this really cool and free tool which can turn any sketch or diagram into a fully functional app or game. You can export this as HTML and embed it on your site or use it wherever you want. This is free to use, but you do need to add your OpenAI API key, which I'll talk about more in a second. I'm gonna show you how to create a timer with multiple functions, as well as a game where you can eat floating pieces of gold, all from just a simple diagram. Let's jump right in. So the site is called TLDraw, but if you just go to tldraw.com, you're not gonna see what I'm gonna show you today. So it's actually a secret subdomain called makereal.tldraw.com, which I'll link in the description below. Once you're there, you don't even need to log in or anything. You'll be taken to this blank canvas. All right, let's start making our first project, which is a timer. So I'm going to add a frame here. Um, I'll add another frame and we'll add an arrow here. Then we'll call this, this timer start at 00.00.00. Okay, and then we're gonna add a few buttons. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna use this pen here and free draw. So here's gonna be our start button. Here's going to be pause. This one is gonna be add 10 minutes. So let me fill these all in. And then, so this one will be like start timer. This one here would be pause timer. And then this one would be add 10 seconds to timer. All right, let's just start with this and see if it works. So I'm going to select this whole thing and then click make real. Oh, and actually before that, you need to paste in your OpenAI key. So I'm just going to log into OpenAI and then go into my settings and then API keys and then I'm going to create a new secret key. We'll call this TL draw and create secret key. So make sure you don't share this key with anyone. I'm gonna copy it and then paste it in here. One thing to note is that you do need to be on the tier one plan. So if you go back into the GitHub of TL draw, it says, make sure you are at least a tier one API user. So click into this link, which will take you to your OpenAI account to see if you are tier one or not. So if you scroll all the way down, for a lot of users, you might be on the free tier. So what you need to do is just buy like at least $5 of credits, and then you will be upgraded to tier one. Note that this is not the paid ChatGPT plan, which costs $20 a month. This is paying for using the API, so it only charges you like a few cents every time you use it. And when you don't use it, you pay nothing. So just to be clear on that. Now, going back into our TL draw, we are simply going to select everything and then click make real. Wow, look at that. Let's first test out this button. Add 10 seconds. All right, so double click to interact. We need to double click this. And then now we can click on these buttons. And to exit it, we simply click anywhere in the canvas to exit. All right, so now we can't click these buttons. To click these again, we need to double click. All right, so let's test out first the add 10 seconds. And yes, this does work. It seems like the seconds is here, which we can edit out later. We can have this as like minutes, seconds, milliseconds, but we can edit that later. And then let's see what start timer does. Nice, so it's counting up and let's say you want this to count down, we can also do this afterwards. Now let's try pause timer. And it is indeed paused. So looking good. We'll click anywhere in the canvas to exit this and then we can refine this further. So let's say I want this to be in, this should be in minutes, second, seconds, milliseconds. And then we'll drag another arrow to here. This should count down, not up. All right, so we will select all of this again and then click make real. So now the seconds should show up here now and then if you click on start timer, this should count down and not up. Alrighty, we do see the seconds are moved over. Let's double click on this and then click on start timer. Perfect, and then pause timer. Awesome. And so yeah, super easy way for you to create an application with functions 
in a matter of seconds. Now to export this, you can either copy the link to this or you can copy the code. So now if you open a word editor like Notepad and then paste this all in and then save it as HTML. So let's call this timer.html. And now if you double click on this, it opens up your new timer. How cool is that? And this is like a standalone HTML file with all the functions built in. So like this HTML is no longer linked to TL Draw. So you can like embed this on your website or do whatever you want with it. Quick thanks to the sponsor of today's video, My Vocal AI. This is an easy yet powerful tool for you to clone your voice or anyone's voice and use it for text to speech. You simply need to log in and then record what it tells you to say. This experiment was so far successful at about 1850. After that, click submit and it would create an AI of your voice in literally less than a minute. You can also import voice recordings to be trained. So I'm going to upload a recording of Gura's voice, which is only a minute long, and let's see if it can train a voice on this. Use my vocal AI to clone any voice and use it for text to speech. What's really cool is it even has emotion recognition. So if you type something like I'm depressed, here's what you get. I'm depressed. And if she's angry, I'm so furious. For the paid versions, you can also create text to speech in all these different languages. So again, this is myvocal.ai. Try it out for free via the link in the description below. All right, let's make something even more complex and cooler. Let's make a game. So um, here I'm going to add a page and then we'll call it page two. Uh, again, I'm going to create a frame first and then let's see, let's have a square and this will be the player, right? This is our player. So I'm just going to drag an arrow here and call this the player, the player, the position of this should follow my mouse cursor. Okay, and then let's add some shapes here. So these will be the enemies. Let's add a few more. Okay, so let's define the game. So enemies bounce around the frame in random directions. The player goal is to eat all the enemies. When the player touches an enemy, add one to the score. The player should follow my mouse cursor. All right, I think this is good. And then we just need to label enemies. And also let's make a, let's add a scoreboard here. This is the score, start at zero. And then here are my, oh my gosh, here are my enemies. All right, seems simple enough. So let's select all of this and then click make real. Awesome, all right, let's double click to interact this and then, oh, I, did I eat one already? Okay, let's eat this one. This one is just stuck, so let's eat him. Uh, okay, the, the enemies are not bouncing, so let me refine this further. I should say enemies bounce around the walls in random different directions and should keep moving at all times. And then also start with three enemies in random positions. To make this more fun, actually for an enemy, let's turn that into a piece of gold nugget. So we are going to open this, this image in a new tab, and then it's going to be this. Let's see if this works. So we are going to say, use this picture for each enemy. Let's see if that works. And then we'll select all again, and then click make real. Holy smokes, what did I do? Oh my God, oh my God. Oh, all right, <laughs> let me just delete this, holy. All right, so 
there should be only 10 enemies total. All right. Let's start this again. Oh my gosh, that was scary. Hope that didn't like charge my open AI API a lot of money. All right, double click to interact. Looking good. So I'm just going to like eat all of these. Perfect. Again, if you want to save this and run it locally and completely separate from this TL draw website, you can just copy the HTML code and then paste it in here. And then let's save this as game.html now when you open it you can see our game open up and there we go so that's it for making a game with this platform super easy to use it's really easy to just create something from scratch without any technical knowledge now there's a lot more you can do with this and there's a lot of prompt strategies you can use to make this even cleaner. So for example, here's their demonstration of how they made basically the same game. So check out their Twitter or join their Discord for more information. And here's their version of setting up the timer. It really comes down to the prompting. You really need to have a good prompt and then just keep refining it and refining it until you get the animations or the functions that you want. So that's how you can turn a rough sketch or diagram into a fully functional app or game. If you found this video helpful, remember to like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. Also, we built a site where you can search for all the AI tools out there. Check it out at ai-search.io.